Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we're going to talk about the Linux Mint updates for the month. Uh, the first and what's probably going to excite most people is the work on Wayland has officially begun. And there is a little bit of testing that they have opened up that people can actually do. There are a few other updates to the platform and the system as well. And uh, some of these are interesting and fascinating for us on the 2Bs that we can't actually talk about because the last time I talked about the H word program, we got a community strike for no reason. Uh, there's nothing on there that I said that even goes remotely close to any rules. It was simply, hey, this is a new pack involved with Linux Mint and this is what you can do with it and I have explained in some other places um, last year uh, uh, what happened there maybe I will dive into that deeper on the supporters exclusive video um, so just so we can uh, get a little bit of clarity on that uh, but you can read everything in the article which is linked down below and that is on the Linux Mint blog the October 2023 updates. Uh, curiously, this is released a week earlier than they usually are, but uh, that's okay. Uh, we like Linux Mint news, especially when it is awesome news. So, the first thing is, uh, this is just like digs deep into like meta. Uh, Debian, of course, which I didn't actually know this or pick this up until uh, recently. I'm saying, you know, only a couple months ago uh, that Debian, all of its uh, all of its code names are based on characters from Toy Story. I didn't actually know this. Um, now, Sid, of course, is the evil kid who tears toys apart and does bad scary things that's why the testing repository for debian is called sid uh because that's where places go to break and so that's just, you know it's like it gets all meta and stuff now linux mint doesn't name its distributions off of uh off of toy store things it gives them all girl names and girls have a romeo and romeo is the unstable software this is where unstable packages go and you always had this ability to turn on the packages for romeo uh, i went back into my not updated linux mint from a couple years ago and yes this is still there that's nothing new what is new is how they're managing things and uh, rolling out software that's going to allow us to do a little bit more testing before alpha. As they describe in here that um, unstable mint releases are not available to the public till they reach beta. Uh, so you can't download 21.3 and it doesn't even have a name yet. So some distros allow you to download these earlier. Uh, with Linux Mint though, what you used to have to do is you'd have to uh, you'd have to um, get in and actually make build the packages uh, to run any testing. You no longer have to do that. Um, and they are also getting rid of the Mint PPA. And this is part of their their last big push was to do a lot more changes in how they're pushing out ISOs to be more efficient at it uh, and also get a little bit more testing out of the way. So uh, what you can do now is if you turn on Romeo is you get a lot more of those development packages. So they're turning on Romeo for the future updates, the future cinnamon changes, and things like that. So going forward, they say we'll use Romeo to push new features and the changes we're working on in preparation for the next release. This will allow alpha testers to run unstable versions of cinnamon, XApp, Mint tools, etc., without having to compile anything. And this also replaces or gets rid of their Ubuntu PPA, uh, which is uh, good news. So we have a little bit more tools available to us to more easily test pre-release packages by turning on that unstable packages in the software repositories. And uh, this is going to apply, I believe this is going to apply to the Ubuntu version of Linux Mint. Now the next one here, we're going to have to use some code words here to avoid a uh, another one of them nasty strikes for not doing anything that actually violates any rules. Uh, but hey, welcome to Switch to Linux. We are on the band channel. This is why our videos are not promoted very much. Of course, you can help that by interacting with the video and liking it and subscribing to the channel and all that fun jazzy stuff tell everybody about it um, so you know but at the same time uh, the dreaded H word has a lot of new fun things especially in the uh, new uh, 
um, how shall we say, uh, um, anti uh, A B system? Many of you are getting pop ups for. How do I speak in code here? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, but I wanted this uh, to go out globally. So uh, we do have a new features in the dreaded H word app, primarily dealing with a, a few new things. The first is there's now a favorites tab where you can put all of your favorites. Uh, channels and contents inside of the application. Now, a lot of these changes aren't fully rolling out yet. These are the changes for the 21.3, which is set to come out somewhere around Christmas time. Merry Christmas to us Linux Mint users. Then the dreaded H word is going to get some more updates, hopefully making the system much more user friendly and easier. The other fascinating thing under the hood, um, speaking again in... Um, <clears throat> Another important change is made under the hood. The dreaded H word uses um, uh, libmpv, which itself relies on uh, the band software, according to the Tubies. And um, with this, you can stream the Tubi channels. Hmm, interesting. However, uh, the band software is uh, quick to react to the to be changes, and uh, this often breaks compatibility. So to uh, to account for this, the um, uh, and uh, this particular package uh, that ends with the letters DLP are oftentimes not as updated nearly as quick as Debian or Ubuntu or other software can push them out. So what the H word does now is it goes on and installs from the current, most current version, not as a system package, but locally just to be used by itself. So that in theory, the H word application should always work with streaming the Tubi channels. And, this might be a really cool thing. I don't know, <laughs> but we're not going to talk about it much more on this platform. Uh, unless, of course, you're watching this on the alt text. Stay tuned for that, I guess. Um, and so that will hopefully help out. All right, enough of the band content. Uh, Wayland uh, development is underway. And so uh, the work on Wayland has started. Uh, the priority was already given to fixing Secure Boot, which is now fixed as of 21.2. So Secure Boot is working. If you did want to keep that turned on, you now have the ability to do that. Of course, that has been broken for a period of time, uh, not because of something Linux Mint was doing. It was an Ubuntu change. And I'm not sure who all resolved that first, because I'm pretty sure the new Ubuntu version also works with Secure Boot as well. Uh, so those are options that we have. And so now they are prioritizing it. So they do have a screenshot here of cinnamon running on Wayland. So they are not expecting, uh, to replace X anytime soon because it works. It works globally. It's not fundamentally broken. It's just become a hodgepodge. They understand that X will eventually lose favor. Wayland is the way of the future, but they're not ready to just jump on the bandwagon right now because Wayland still does not work on a lot of applications. And so uh, what they are doing here is they are working to get this out. So what we're going to see is the same thing you can do with Ubuntu and had been able to do it done on Ubuntu before they were ready for prime time is on that login screen. You can choose a Wayland session or an X session. Now, Right now, you can still do that on Ubuntu. The default is Wayland. On Linux Mint, the default will remain on X at least until they're saying roughly 2026. So roughly three more years is that with the default. But starting 21.3, you have an experimental Wayland support where you will be able to test Cinnamon Mint, Linux Mint Cinnamon 21.3 on Wayland, assuming they fix a lot of the bugs, there's still a lot of it that there is yet to do. Of course, you choose that on your login screen, just above where you enter your password. There's that little cinnamon icon. Click on that, and then you'll be able to get down there and select the Wayland session. So it will not be as stable as the default one. It lacks a lot of features and comes with limitations, so they will not recommend it out of the box. But for those interested, you can do that. They have set up a Trello board. We're going to have a look at that in a moment. And uh, that will show what is working, what is under development. So many things 
things are still broken, but there are a few things that are working. And uh, what they're saying here is probably not before 2026, before Wayland, they consider Wayland to be completely ready, giving them two years to identify and fix all of the various issues. So X today and tomorrow might mean Wayland, they say. So that's really exciting. Here is that Trello board. So you can actually head on over here and see this yourself and keep it up to date. So to do is the Cinnamon Control Center in Wayland. Uh, what's running? The Cinnamon Session, Nemo, Muffin, Wayland Session File, Cinnamon, Cinnamon Settings, uh, CSD housekeeping, CSD A11Y settings, CSD automation, Wacom. Okay, that's good. Smart card screensavers, print notifications. Uh, runs with X Wayland. So this is that bridge that will allow you to run Wayland through X connectors. Uh, there's some problems. Uh, we can't. Uh, the Nemo menu close button. Okay. <laughs> well, that's odd. Okay. Um, there's no background, no keyboard switching, no logout. There's no background. Is that? Oh, that must be all like the desktop backgrounds. Okay. Apparently the desktop backgrounds are working. All right. No screen capture. Need to port. Uh, um, Gnome RRDPMS stuff from XRAND to Muffin. All right, no looking glass, me long. Uh, questions, uh, screensaver, QT theming. So a few items to think about. High DPI, fractional scaling. Those are hot button issues for some people. And then what is uh, fixed slash done? Auto start apps crashing. Uh, no theming and display settings and C settings and limitation. X embed tray and cinnamon screensaver are limitations. So there is a lot of upcoming work being done on Linux Mint working towards that Wayland and some other exciting changes and things as well. I think one of the biggest is that those of us that want to run Linux Mint and have maybe more development type computers or extra computers laying around, we can play around with those alpha packages much earlier, which will possibly help contribute to more stable and faster produced software down the road as we can uh, all be testing software a little bit ahead of the beta release schedules. That being said, there's also some upcoming exciting things in the HWARD application, and uh, Wayland support is, of course, going to be a big issue for some people. With that, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, this article is linked down below, so if you want to go and read the rest of it yourself and <laughs> interpret my code on the band programs, uh, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, with that, though, thank you for watching and i hope that you enjoy switching to linux thank you for watching this video from switched to linux this channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now you can be a supporter at patreon at patreon.com slash t-o-m-m or at thinklifemedia.com i also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.